as a sort of a rata from the first episode. Uh, between the, the publication of the first episode and today, I actually put the smog pump onto the F-150 for a third time, and in the ongoing saga of trying to get Balrog running right. Um, and uh, a couple points that I would note from that process. First, the serpentine belt was a lot easier to get on and off because this time, instead of using my regular socket, a uh, half-inch drive socket, I used the breaker bar, uh, much longer. Um, and so that just, it made it really, really easy to get the serpentine on and off. I didn't have to put nearly as much arm strength into it, thereby freeing up my second hand. Uh, so that would be my first point, is to make sure you use an actual breaker bar, get uh, or you know put a pipe on your uh, ratchet, a wrench. Uh, so that would be point one. Uh, point two, I think the actual, the hardest point in the process is when you are reinstalling, so you're putting the new pump in there, and you have to align the bolt hole, and it is a really tight fit in there, and uh, it was, it was, it, for some reason the third time, it just took me more effort. Um, the, the way that I would recommend, because the problem is, so you're trying to, to line up the holes for the bolt to go through, so you have your two brackets, and then you're sliding the smog pump into that, and then you put the bolt in. And so you have to align the holes, uh, so the bolt will go in. Well, you can't look down it because you've got the fan in the front end of the truck right there. You can't get up in there. So, I mean, hypothetically, you might be able to get a camera, a phone, something like that in there to take a picture. Maybe you can get a shot of it. But the, the old-fashioned way is to take a screwdriver, stick it into the hole. Once you've at least got it lined up that you can get the screwdriver in, then you just rotate the screwdriver around and around until it lines up and you can thread the bolt through. For some reason, the third time just took me more effort than the other two. Uh, so that would be the, the second point. I think that's the hardest point in the operation. So be prepared. It can get a little frustrating, so take your time. Uh, and, you know, you just have to, by feel and getting that uh, screwdriver in there, wiggling it around, you can get it lined up and thread the bolt back through. Um, the third point is that when you're reinstalling it, that bracket that you have to switch between the smog pumps, the bracket um, should hang first when you're installing. So you can, that's a way to make sure that it cannot come down and clonk you in the head, uh, is that you can go ahead when you're setting it up in there, so you're underneath it, you're setting it up in there, go ahead and hang it on the bracket and you can thread the bolt just real quickly. You know, you don't have to tighten it down. You can it can still swing free, but it won't it won't release. It won't ever come down and, and hit you in the head. So uh, that would be my third point um, uh, as well on that. So uh, those would be my three points. That the serpentine belt's a lot easier to do if you have a longer wrench. Uh, you know, it's kind of an obvious physics thing, but um, it's just a point to remember: the longer the wrench, the less force you have to put into it. Uh, the second is that 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 the hardest point of the operation which I think I would probably upgrade the whole operation to a 4, maybe even a 5, because it takes some arm strength to get it in there. Uh, and because you're underneath it, you've got your arms in the air, uh, you know, the blood drains out, it's a, it's, it's a heavy thing. Again, uh, so the second point is it's actually threading the new one in there that I think is the hardest, getting the bolt aligned. Um, and the, and when, you're in, when you're under there putting it back on, go ahead and hang the bracket first so that it cannot fall off and hit you in the head.